Have you ever wondered what a supernova is? Or how is a supernova formed? And what is so special about the supernovas? Well, all these questions are our topic for today's video. A supernova is a powerful and luminous stellar explosion. The transient astronomical event occurs during the last evolutionary stages of a massive star or when a white dwarf is triggered into a fugitive nuclear fission. The original object called the progenitor either collapses to a neutron star or black hole or is completely destroyed. The peak optical fluorescence of a supernova can be comparable to that of an entire galaxy before fading over several weeks or months. History of Supernova Observations Various civilizations recorded supernova long before the telescope was invented. The oldest recorded supernova is RCW 86, which Chinese astronomers saw in 8185. Their records show that this guest star stayed in sky for 8 months, according to NASA. Before the early 17th century, when telescopes became available, there are only 7 recorded supernovae, according to Encyclopedia Britannica. What we know today as Scarp Nebula is the most famous of these supernovae. Chinese and Korean astronomers recorded this star explosion in their records in 1054, and southwestern Native Americans may have seen it as well, according to the rock paintings seen in Arizona and New Mexico. The supernova that formed the Carp Nebula was so bright that astronomers could see it during the day. Other supernovae that were observed before the telescope was invented occurred in 393, 1006, 1181, 1572, and 1604. In 1572, the supernova was studied by a famed astronomer Tycho Brahe. Brahe wrote about his observations of the new star in his book De Nova Stella, which gave rise to the name Nova. A nova differs from a supernova, however. Both are sudden outbursts of brightness as hot gases are blown outward. But for a supernova, the explosion is cataclysmic and signifies the end of the star's life. The term supernova was not used until the 1930s. Its first use was by Walter Bade and Fritz Zwiski at Mount Wilson Observatory, who used it in relation to an explosive event they observed called S. Andromeda, also known as SN 1885A. It was located in the Andromeda Galaxy. They also suggested that they also suggested that supernovas happen when ordinary stars collapse into neutron stars. In the modern era, one of the most famous supernovas was SN 1987A from 1987, which is still being studied by astronomers because they can see how a supernova evolves in the first few decades after the explosion. Star Death A supernova will occur about once every 50 years in a galaxy the size of a Milky Way. Put another way, a star explodes every second or so somewhere in the universe. And some of those aren't even too far from the Earth. About 10 million years ago, a cluster of supernova created the local bubble, a 300 light year long peanut shaped bubble of gas in the interstellar medium that surrounds the solar system. Exactly how a star dies depends in part on its mass. Our Sun, for example, doesn't have enough mass to explode as a supernova, though the news for Earth still isn't good, because once the Sun runs out of its nuclear fuel, perhaps in couple billion years, it will swell into a red giant that will likely vaporize our world, before gradually cooling into a white dwarf. But with the right amount of mass, a star can burn out in a fury explosion. Can you see one? You might be lucky enough to see one. NASA encourages citizens to search the night skies for them. For example, in 2008, a teenager named Caroline Moray from New York spotted one in images from the Puket Observatory Supernova Search Team. After seeing through images for months, Moray found what turned out to be SN2008HA, one of the dimmest supernova on record. The 14-year-old Moray also became the youngest person to ever discover a supernova. Two years later, Catherine Aurora Gray from New Brunswick, Canada bet her record. Gray looked through photos taken at the average observatory taken by a family friend. In them, she discovered SN 2010 ID. The lesson here is, keep your eyes on the sky. You never know when you might see one. <laughs>